Okay guys, welcome to the channel. Today is Sunday and we're today we're detailing. We got the special treat to detail a 1966 Chrysler 300. We already started um, before we even started the video. We wanted to get a little jump on it. And here it is. Let's check it out. We're at a location too. We can't we can't let you know, but the owner is letting us film it. So that's nice of him. So we want to respect his privacy. Not give the owner's name or the location. So right now we're just kind of cleaning it and what are we do this is not gonna be a, i'm gonna not gonna go in complete detail on the video it's basically just gonna be showing you a little process of what we're gonna do we'll check it check it out that's pretty good we're gonna do our best to clean it up make it shine things huge i got this side kind of wash clean it up pretty good we're getting the engine clean right now we're using um the wolf gang like a rinse and swash and we're spraying on engine bay to get some of the loose dirt it's just mainly dust and a little bit of dirt not much before we do like a degreaser so we don't want to we're doing that first and do a little bit of degreasing and i'm probably going to put a spray wax inside here to make it shine a little bit and clean it up so yeah we'll just show you a little bit of details here and there when we when we get going on it what do you guys think that's yeah, pretty cool to do. I'm honored to even detail something like this. This is sweet. I'm, you know, we're enjoying this. You know, it's nice and you know, get the details. I mean, look at it. Man, it's gonna look good when we're done. Instead of always doing a truck or something. <laughs> look at the detail on this thing. It's crazy. All right, guys. We're gonna keep going. We're getting ready to decon the body. We're using our Iron X on here. Kind of like to do this on any, pretty much any time we do a full detail. Just want to get it clean. I don't really think there's a lot of iron on this vehicle. It's not driven every day, but I just want to do it to make sure. Missed it on here. We'll wait for it to turn people purple. It's been on here for a few minutes and I haven't seen any. So just kind of showing the process of what we do to get these cars cleaned up. Man, that thing looks nice. Greek. Alright, so here's the uh, product we're going to be using to get some of this grease off in this engine bay. So we're going to see how good it works on here. So far, it looks like it's working pretty good, that uh, shining bow shine. I'll have their link below, too. If you want to pick it up, it's a small company. It's always nice to support a small company. And um, the products work pretty good, and they're not really pricey. Check it out. We got to do some cleaning, but it's working really good. Getting it cleaned up. Got a little, little bit of work to do on it. We can show the product. Just spray some right here. Look at that. I mean, even the spray, it's knocking it out. I mean, that's how good this stuff is. You see that bottle for you guys to remember. Very detail. Look at that. Even those old Velcros on a plastic cart. This stuff works pretty good for a plastic car. I'm gonna be ordering some more of this stuff. Figure I show that in there. All right, look at that. Make sure we get the windshield wiper too in there. Mm -hmm. All right, got the kid working. And look how well it cleaned up the grease on the frame. Check that out. Look how well it cleaned that down there. Just let it sit for a little bit. Do a little bit of agitation with a little brush or a soft uh, toothbrush. See how the, those little toothbrushes work pretty good. Get it all cleaned up. Dang, it's looking good. Okay, right now we're clay bar. We're using Giro's Garage Clay Bar right here. And look at the difference. We see it's wet right here. I use like to use water and a lot of spray. Look at the difference in the paint. And this is just from clay bar doing the Iron X, Tire X taking the steps to get this paint clean look at that i mean it's already shining and this is single stage paint so if i didn't mention that but look at that and that's this right now it's just cleaning we have not polished it i tell you what man it it's a lot of work to clay barn this thing I think it's huge and then this is why you make your own detail spray too use the wolfgang make a gallon of it you know because right there because you're going to use it and you're going to save some money hopefully that helps 
We got the engine still going. Um, engine, it's a lot of detail to get this engine clean, but it's looking good. All right, we'll keep going. In this video, we'll just show you kind of some of the little steps. Check it out. 300. Look how beautiful this front end. They don't make cars like that. Look at that. And that's why these tools right here are perfect for getting up in here in this light. Get it all clean. Make it look good. Can get in here. Get back there. Man, this thing has so many spots to get. Got some more. Got to get it really clean. I'm going to have to go over this front a couple times. To get her done. Boom. All right, guys, we already been polishing on it. Gonna show you a little bit. We're trying to get the job done. Um, so we haven't been making too much footage on it. Now we did, we're not going for paint correction. We just want to give it a nice cleaning and some protection because they do dry this. So we got this done so we got to do the trunk and this is a single stage and you are gonna have to clean your pads a lot and go through pads right now we're using a chemical guys white pad and what's the white pad is uh for like minor you know minor flaws in the paint shrill marks stuff like that it's not gonna help for like deep any uh deep scratches this and that with this being single uh stage paint we don't want to cut too much and that's the reason why we're going with that and we are using gyro's finishing sealant and this will basically you know help with uh getting a little bit of minor defects and put a sealant on there and then the next day i am going to be putting gyro's best of show on here give us some more protection and give it a little bit more shine but it's coming out nice i mean i could probably go with a different pad and go a little bit deeper to get some of these scratches out but um yeah i don't want to cut too much into that single stage and i could probably get away with it but man there's just some some spots are just the paint's real thin and i just don't want to take in a chance because right here it's thin i didn't even touch that area right here so i don't want to go too deep i still gotta do this but the hood's done you guys can still see some little infections in it but it looks a lot better than what it did i still gotta do this side we're almost there I'm gonna change out the pad start with a fresh pad on there so but that's it i mean i could try i don't know, see if they like it. if they want me to cut it some more i can on the hood on certain areas i just use a different pads and probably the same product or you can use the uh, cut and cream but man i just not not want to cut into it too much and they just wanted a really good you know a good cleaning detail too so 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 far so it's pretty good and they're pretty happy with it so far all right we'll keep going give you guys a little update here and there check out the interior just getting it all cleaned up okay we're pretty much all done about 80 percent i got some touch up due tomorrow put a coat of wax on it i can check it out Okay, on the, on the interior we end up using the Adams leather interior cleaner and their conditioner on the vinyl. You can use this on the classic car vinyl. It came out pretty good. It'd be better if we had a steam cleaner to get to really get it. You can see the results. I still got some more work to do tomorrow. We got that, that shined up. We even put the the leather conditioner on the, the dash to give it some UV protection on the side. Oh yeah, came out pretty good. So we, that's you guys ever do a classic car, you can use that stuff on the um, your vinyl. Just test the spot. Let's take a little look at it. And tomorrow the owner is gonna be looking at it. Boom. Okay. Look 
beautiful. Came out nice. Got to do some stuff on the wheels. That's here. I mean, the, the engine. 300. Kid did a good job on here. I'm going to throw some wax on that. Check it out. It'll be applying this next.